Hello and welcome back to this video. <laughs> so, alam mo ba ano ang pinaka-importanting dapat malaman ng isang nagso-solar, mga solarista, no? mga loads? Because sa video na to mga loads, ibibigay ko sa inyo ang pinaka-importanting dapat malaman mo bago ka mag-solar. Dapat alam mo to because if di mo to alam, eventually yung solar build mo kahit gaano pa kaganda at branded dyan, masisira agad dyan mga loads. So ganito, pag-usapan natin yan sa video na to. So let's go mga kasolar. So here we go mga kasolar. Actually, ang tinutukoy ko is about the battery. Because the life of your solar build, solar set, contains, depende on the battery. Because the battery is the most vulnerable part ng isang solar na nagsusolar. Just like for example, if meron tayo itong gel type deep cycle battery, kahit pag gumamit ka ng lithium mga loads or gel or GM, kung anong klase pa yan, So, ang life ng iyong solar, depending dito. Kasi alam mo, ito nag-store ng energy. And if in case, malubat yan mga loads, hindi na yun, ayaw na yung mag-store ng energy. So, that is a big problem. So, dapat kasi malaman mo dapat kung paano mo gamitin yung battery mo according to the discharge cycle. Discharge cycle, mga ka-solar, the maximum na pwede mo siyang i-discharge. So, pwede mo siya ano ang maximum na pwede mong kunin yung power sa kanya at pwede mong i-store sa kanya. So, dapat alam mo to mga loads, kung low bat na ba o puno na yung battery mo. And here we go. This is the sample discharge cycle na kita ko sa internet. Ano? I don't know if this discharge cycle is sa lead acid o GM. But actually, based on my experience, mga loads, papakita ko sa inyo ano yung actual. So, dito sa, mababa, sa baba ng graph, mga loads, this is the percentage of discharge. We have 12, 22, 34, and 102%. That is the percent of discharge. And then, cycles naman itong vertical, mga loads. So, considering the discharge yung battery mo at around 100%, hindi yun mag-aabot isang taon mga ka-solar. Dito sa green o ng dot ko na nilagay, masisira agad yan. If you discharge ito ng 2%, if it is a lead uh, gel battery, siguro more or less nasa isang taon lang yan. O kaya at 82%, mas magtatagal siya. Maybe somewhat the, almost the same pa rin sa isang taon. And then at 72% of discharge mga ka-solar, Siguro more than one year and isang, isang buwan o dalawang buwan. And then, if you go to the 50%, sigurado yung mga solar abot na ng 2 to 3 years. And then, for 42%, yung i-discharge mo, yung gamitin mo sa kanya, abot yan na more than 2 years. And then, eventually, kung 30% lang, 3 years na yung mga solar. Kung nakita mo, 1,000, divided by 365 is more than 3 years lang mga solar. So this is my actual experience when I actually using a gel batteries nung na-experience ko to mga loads. Mayroon akong gel batteries na nag-last around, around 2 to 3 years. And mayroon din akong 2 years lang. And mayroon din akong mga 1 year lang. So depending on my load and my how I discharge. Because The more you discharge your battery daily, because daily ka nang charge, daily ka rin kumukuha ng power, the lesser it uh, has a, a battery life. So depending yan sa paggamit mo. So if dadating ka sa punto na yung discharge cycle mo is lagi siyang low bat, that will surely shorten your battery life. At hindi maganda sa isang battery mga loads, kahit sa cellphone yan, kahit lithium pa yan, kahit anong battery yan, na lagi mo siyang i-discharge. So, kailangan mo talaga siyang bigyan ng time na mag-charge. And your solar panel is so supposed to be dapat lang talagang according to your power requirement sa iyong loads. So, that's why I'm asking you to check your solar panel and your batteries and your loads if compatible ba talaga sila according to your needs because your battery will definitely define your ano ka dapat kalaki ang pwede mong ma-serve na load and your stored capacity 
So this is my example, mga lords. No? If this is a gel type battery, so according to the specifications, mga lords, kung titingnan natin, this is rated at 12 volts, 25 ampere hours. So ang 25 ampere hours is the maximum capacity. And then what happened, mga kasular, if we discharge this battery according to the graph na nakita natin kanina. So for sure, this is 12 volts, 25 ampere hours. That has a rated of mag ilan ba yung ampere hour yung power capacity niya mga loads. And overall, that is only 12 by 25 is 300 watt hour yung total stored capacity niya mga kasolar. So this means the 100% of its capacity theoretically ay dapat aabot ng 300 watt hour capacity. So at 380% dito mga kasolar, i-discharge mo yung battery at around 80%, you're only around to use 240 watt hour which is not healthy because this is a gel type battery and suppose it should have only 50% discharge. So from so from that 100, 300 watt hour capacity of your total na yung battery, you suppose only supposed to have 150 watt hour para magamit mo at around 50% discharge mga kasolar. This is the healthiest way na pwede mo siyang gamitin lang from this 25 ampere hour battery. So at 30% mga kasolar, you only can use 90 watt hour. So depending of your discharge cycle or usage daily, magtatagal yung life ng iyong battery. So that is the really important key factor ng nang isang tao ng susular depending how you discharge your battery and, and strongly advise na dapat yung battery mo is oversized to increase the life of its battery. So hindi ka man nalulogi loads pag ini-increase mo yung battery size mo to your according to your needs because actually you're increasing the lifespan of it. So that is simply so yan lang mga kasular, that is simply sa ganyang paraan through identifying the discharge cycle and discharge point kung hanggang saan mo siya gamagamitin at according to what percentage you are going, going to utilize daily your battery, madidetermine mo yung lifespan ng yung battery. So according to the battery type, dapat alam mo yung depth of discharge. And then you can compute how long will your battery last and how long will it uh, supply your needs. So, ganyan lang mga kasula, no? Hindi ka dapat pwedeng kayang-kaya lahat, kayang-kaya lahat because your battery has limits. Parang balde lang yan mga kasular. Kung puputuin mo siya ng tubig hanggang gitna ka lang, yan lang yung pwedeng inumin mo, gamitin mo. So, I hope mga kasular, meron kang natutunan sa video na yan and please like naman and see you again in the next video mga kasular, no? See you, see you.